The enchanters are all around you. Throughout your life, you meet hundreds of them. The high school principal, a bus driver, the druggist, an insurance salesman, the local mayor. All of them could be charmers. Have you ever been driven mad by someone you knew just couldn't be your type? Longed for them every moment? Responded to their every desire? And then, when they decided, it all stopped. Cold. Over. Finny. And now, sometimes, you forget the name. And sometimes you can't seem to recall the face. Who was it? How do you know if a lover uses magic? Catherine de Medici, Henry III, Pope Leo the Great, Queen Elizabeth of England, and James VI of Scotland were all suspected to be active in the art. The shape of witchcraft has been varied. As varied as the imagination and design of the personality involved dared. In fantasy, there's Snow White's beautiful but wicked queen stepmother with her poison apple. In reality, Joan of Arc. A dedication to a cause, ambitious drive, thirst for adventure, and celestial voices. They had little in common. And the two would never have felt to rapport with the mythical Medea, who, when scorned by Jason, gifted his younger love with a gown made of magical cloth that burned like fire. But how little remains to bind these women. It isn't too difficult to see the spirit decor that motivated them. But how can you tell who the enchanters are? And here's one way. Witches and wizards have a spontaneous interest in sexual situations. They're sensual and use it in their lust for power. And though not all the enchanters are promiscuous, all are successful with emotional seductions. And all make exciting lovers. If there is a strange light in the eyes, a subtle fragrance about the hair, and a warm vibration to the touch, you can be sure you've met a spellcaster.